happy now. Oh, oh. Yo. Yo, yo, yo. Um, what's her name? Susan? <coughs> this is like um, the guy who wanted to debate your boyfriend. What? Hmm? This is the guy who wanted to debate your boyfriend. Noodles? Tap. It's happy? No, no, no. Happy, happy. The other guy. He wants to debate noodles. Who's my boyfriend? Yeah. Oh, no, this noodles. is um, Seth's um, girlfriend. I'm confused. He's retarded. Darn. <laughs> Yo, are you a... Uh... See, so, do you know what you're doing? No. So you're going to be debating... You're going to be debating noodles? Have you ever heard of them? Uh, yes. From King Bullet. You've heard him from King Bullet? Yeah. Oh, God. King Bullet. Why? Oh, no, no. Because uh, cause Ace was baiting, and he was like, Happy would destroy you, Noodles. And then Noodles doesn't like Ace, so he wants to see it. Um, Noodles is a little bit better oh. than King Bullet, so I don't know. That scares you or something, but yeah, I don't know. You have to get prepared for that one. Do you think you beat the shit out of Bullet? Be honest. No. No? Oh. You're actually surprisingly humble. What the fuck? <laughs> they said oh, you're, like, evil. There's no point in lying about it. I think it was pretty close from based what the judges said, but then... Oh, okay. But but then when it came to Renji and uh, Baku, they said so... otherwise, but, but, but Dead Boy said that it was, like, high diff, so... Oh, gotcha, gotcha. So it's kind of close. Just so. going off the judgment, I reckon it was, yeah, it was it was pretty tough. Okay, okay. Yeah, so you think Naruto's um, moon level or something? Moon level plus. Moon level plus? Wait, why is he moon level plus? Like, what did he even do? So Naruto characters scale off Kaguya mainly. and okay. And based on what Kaguya can be scaled to is how we can get like Naruto, Sasuke, everyone. What did Kaguya do? So Kaguya is relative to Hagoromo and Hamura. And okay. they were able to create the moon together. How so big is that the was moon? Like a, that was a calculated to be a moon level plus feat. How big is the moon? Uh, that's a good question, actually. That is a good question, yeah. I mean... But so, if I, if I so were when to, you say when I you say to... hold on, oh, excuse me. When you say moon level, you mean ten to the thirty joules, right? <clears throat> um, like that moon level. So it's not the feat of creation itself; it's the moving of the moon. Oh of, no 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 no! I, I I understand. I understand completely. Don't worry. I, I'm mainly asking. Um, do, are you saying that moon level <laughs> is ten to the thirty joules? Uh. Like, like on, like, say, like, uh, versus wikis, like, attack potency thing, like, 10 to the 30 joules, like, that energy. Because that's usually what they say is moon level, right? Yeah, like, the, yeah. The, the, tier, the tiering system, which is, hang on, let me have a look what they say. Oh, I'm just clarifying if that's what you mean by moon level, that's all, is the amount of joules. So the, like, it's, it's not uh, 10 to the 30 joules, it's a bit more than that. Oh, I, I understand. Yeah, I understand. I've, I'm, I've, I, I've got the calc. I no, 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 no. I, I, completely, I completely believe you. I'm just trying to clarify if that's what you mean by moon level is the amount of joules. So like it, it's over ten to the thirty joules. That's what you mean by over moon level. <clears throat> uh, to be honest, I can't actually remember from my. I gotta, I gotta look up my calc real quick. Well, okay, um, on Versus Wiki and all that, 10 to the 30 joules is what they have for moon level, if that's what you need for clarification. So when you say above moon level, you mean, like, above that threshold that people normally say is moon level, which is 10 to the 30 joules, right? But below planet yeah, level, which the... is 10 to the 32. Yeah. Okay, cool. Um, so how big is the moon? Do we know? So it's stated that it was made using the, the Ten Tails, as yeah. well as the Chibaku Tensei. Yeah. So that would that would uh, the largest ten uh, Chibaku Tensei was calculated to be a hundred kilometers. So okay, and but then that was Payne's. Uh, that sorry, the Payne's Chibaku was calculated to be a hundred, and Payne himself stated that this is nothing in comparison to the uh, Rokudo Sending. Uh, what's Rokudo Sending? Sage of Six Paths, Hagoromo, mm -hmm. in other words. So this would mean. It would be maybe like like we could lowball it to ten times that, so like one kilometer, 
Oh, I'm not really safe Plus. snowballing anything. I don't think. I, I don't know. I'm snowballing. not one kilometer. Sorry, one one thousand kilometers. Why did I say one? One thousand kilometers. I I, uh, under for... I understand what you're saying, but I don't think it's it's safe to say it's like ten times or something. I don't think that's fair. That's like a whole order of magnitude, right? Yeah. Well, I'm trying to like. I under well, I understand. You're kind. You're kind of. Thousand. You're kind of spitballing. I understand, but. Do you agree that the fundamental values of all of these objects, like such as the stones, the creation, and the moon, are actually unknown? Uh, like we actually well, don't the... know the exact sizes of these things? Yeah, we don't know the exact size yet, that's for sure. But we do so, know the size of the ten tails, based on calcs. So we do know well, the, the, the size of the largest Chewbacca Tensei, which was from pain, which was uh, 100... But that's also based off a of calc, though, right? Yeah, so I'm, what I'm questioning is, is if we don't know the values of how big the moon is, how do we calculate above 10 to the 30 joules? Well, this is the thing, though. Is it, is are that... we assuming that it's moon-sized? So, are you, because using joules, right, you'd be yeah. calculating the, the, the amount of, Energy. The amount of energy needed to create, but I'm uh -huh. not talking about creation. I know you're talking I'm... about moving, right? So my, <clears throat> yeah. my, my question now is, is how do we not know that this moon is actually more of a country sized ball that just got yeah, thrown into a... space? That's actually a good point. See, we don't know that. So, oh, okay. So we can't say objectively that they are above moon level, right? Hmm. Well, from the uh, creation feat, oh. yeah, like we don't we don't have a specific size mentioned, so it would go into unknown. Okay, so we don't we don't know exactly. That's fine. That's fine. Um. <clears throat> okay. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. That's all I wanted to know. That was a good discussion. Good discussion. That's fine. Um. So yeah, I think noodles will um be debating you on that stuff. You'll probably be debating. I think uh that Naruto is. Probably like universal or some shit. I don't know if you've ever done that before. That's pretty big. The universe is very large, so I don't know if you agree with that at all. I mean, you think it's moon level. So. Wait, did he say? Um, does he think Naruto is yeah, universal? I think, yeah, he thinks he's like above the universal. Like he's doing this uh, Eisen versus Madara video, and he's like, yeah, well, I mean, Madara is like universal, so of course he'd break out Eisen's hypnosis and stuff. So, yeah, I think he goes down that territory. Interesting. So I guess me and you, we disagree on the uh, moon level Naruto. I, so I honestly, what's your I honestly, opinion on that? Uh, well, uh, I don't know. You might be able to say, hmm, uh, maybe you can use a linguistics argument and say, well, a mountain is a mountain, right? A mountain indicates a certain level of height. Right? Like 2,000 to 3,000 mm. meters. So mm. we can probably make a linguistics objective out of the size of a mountain in Naruto. And maybe we could say that they're like maybe getting into country level, at least in terms of objectivity. But I think moon level, we can't really say, unfortunately. Okay. Yeah. So you think country level? And I, I, I'm not going to say exactly. Like maybe you can like multiply like off of the mountains and the vaporization calcs and maybe figure that out. There might be a way to calculate planet level based off of a weird tree <laughs> calc, but you'd have to assume what the tree is made of, which is weird. Mm, yeah, see, I don't I don't necessarily agree with that tree calc. Okay. For is, it, is it because the tree is like unknown material? No, there's a lot of things because the tree calc assumes that the one tree is planetary. Um, I think, I think it's more so a similar case of what you were describing, which is more so moving. See, we've, we've got, we've got proof that you need multiple trees in order to absorb a planet. Oh, no, 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 no. So the, the calculation is not based off of the tree actually being able to destroy a planet. It's based off the energy needed to create a tree that big at the speed of lightning. Which would be 10 to the 32 joules. Oh, well, maybe that's a different calc then, because I'm thinking yeah. of the one where it stated that the one tree had uh -huh. um, an infinite amount of like roots or something. And oh, basically, no. you want this, me to start? This, 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 
Yeah, I think the cast that you're sharing is completely different. Yeah. Uh, add me real quick. I'll send it to you. Okay. So when's your boyfriend going to get on season? I don't know. He's a fucking loser. Come on. Yeah, he does skill Naruto for a living. On, that, that is the, a I'll beat the shit out of him any day. Don't worry about it. <laughs> yeah. So, you don't think they're universal? No. <laughs> oh, <laughs> of course not. Of course not. Uh, if you want my advice, personally, personally, um, there's the Borzo novelization uh, says something along the lines of the actual translation is or Naruto makes an analysis of Momoshiki and he says, is he perhaps creating a hyperspace or some kind of barrier? And this is why they say that it's fourth dimensional in nature. But this is Naruto questioning. It's not Naruto actually making uh, an objective observation. So. Uh, yes, it does say hyperspace in the novel. It actually does. The kanji and everything line up. But it's it's actually a question, not a declaration. So it's not an objective actually, statement. the kanji says subspace. Hold on, I have it right here. One second. Yeah, but if you go, like, put it through any dictionary, it comes up with subspace or hyperspace. Yeah, hyperspace is what it says, yeah. But it also says subspace for the same kanji. Hold on. He would have to prove otherwise. One second. I have to get it. it well, be say... careful. Her boyfriend, her boyfriend might come in and just step on you. <laughs> it, could, it could say subspace. That's true. I like that interpretation no, it, as well. It, but... it, actually, it actually does mean subspace as well. And in most, well, in I most... just, but I just, this, I just in agree. Because if you read the same paragraph, but I just right, agreed. It's, it's talking about <laughs> teleporting people from one dimension to another. Wait, why are you freaking out? I just agreed. Dude, it's spitting. I literally, I literally said, yeah, I like that interpretation as well. <laughs> and then he's like, no. And I was like, what? <laughs> no, I just, I just mean, like, I don't understand why people always bring that argument up, because it's stupid. Well, it can mean either or, and that's obviously going to be a, a yeah, realm of Yeah, but based contention. on the context, it's talking about Kaguya teleporting people between her dimensions, right? Well, her dimension could and, be and, a hyperspace. And it, and it wouldn't... Mm, but the, the likelihood of a character going from... Likelihood doesn't mean objective. Like, all so the look, way to hyperspace. Wait, my my claim there was possible, correct? Yeah, yeah, for sure. So yeah, if yeah. it's possible, then my claim is correct. So there's no reason to mm -hmm. deny what I just said. All right, thank you. Anyway, so it can possibly be a hyperspace. Um, like I said, I, I like the interpretation of subspace. If it's a 50-50 argument, then it adds some mist to the, the lake, which I like. So I agree. I um, that book was retconned. Um... That's a little bit questionable as well. I understand where you're coming from, though, because obviously you'd be like, oh, well, it's talking about the Boruto movie, right? But the problem is, is that we actually have a list of all of the, the Boruto novelization. And in terms of canonicity, they actually relisted the Boruto movie novelization inside the novel canonicity. I can show you that list if you wish. I've seen the list, but the fact that they... they... You didn't show it in the manga, the anime, and the film. It, it, it's, it's basically well. The film, the film would be it. the one that's retcon, right? It's kind of like Battle of Gods. I think the film was first, wasn't it? Yeah, so it'd be retcon. If you will, but the, it doesn't necessarily have to be. Hold on, it doesn't necessarily have to be retcon, but it would be its own continuity. But both the Boruto anime and the manga never included any of the events that happened in the novel. They purposely that removed doesn't... them. That doesn't matter. Well, that, that's sort of what retcon is, is when they have an alternate... No, that, 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 can, that can be its own continuity. That's like saying that the Boruto manga isn't canon, because it didn't happen in the anime. Like, mm, a little, little bit different, though. It's, it's timelines, because both the... Well, for instance, did you know the creators of Boruto actually made a direct statement or comparison to Boruto's state of being to Dragon Ball? Where they basically confirmed that... Hmm? Yeah, so they, they say that the current canonicity of Borto is similar to how Dragon Ball worked, where both the manga and anime are both canon, but they're going to go their own directions, right? So you would simply say the same about the novelization. So uh, I a, see what you're saying. So there would yeah. be, be a novelization yeah. direction. And I actually use yeah. this argument as well for Dragon Ball. Um, for yeah, instance, I, I was going to say I, I did the same. Yeah, so like when, for instance, Frieza's like, I've never seen anyone as strong as Broly. I'm like, novel only. <laughs> like, you know? <laughs> So it's not, it's, it didn't happen in the movie. See, we agree. People always always say that that things don't aren't canon in in Dragon Ball, but yeah, yeah, 
No, uh, the, the better argument is obviously that most things are canon. So, uh, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even if it is, it doesn't change much. Okay. Also, I don't know where Noodles is. Do you guys know where Noodles went? He, like, um, went off to die. Went, no, he went to go look after his girlfriend's sister. That's what me and Seth were talking about <laughs> earlier. But speaking of...